Okay, Algebra 1, here is the rest of your test review, um, or the, the answers for the test. So we'll start with number 38, and um, we are evaluating each expression, and we're given these values over here. So we will plug these in for our letters in our expression. So A equals negative 3, and B equals negative 4. So that means we're going to say negative 3 times negative 4, and then minus what C is, and C is 2. Negative 3 times negative 4 is 12, and 12 minus 2 equals 10. So 10 was your answer on that one. And 39, we have A, and that's negative 3 again, this time times C, which is 2, and then we're going to subtract A. And so that comes down right there, and then A is negative 3 right there. Okay, so what we're going to do, whoops is we're going to multiply the negative 3 times the 2, which would give us negative 6, and then this would change to plus a positive, and so we get negative 6 plus 3. Following our rules for adding integers, that gives us negative 3. So that's your answer on 39. On 40, here I'm going to erase this blue line. Okay, we have a over b, and a is negative 3. Put it down here. And b is negative 4, and then we're going to add that to a negative 3 times c, which is 2, okay? So negative 3 divided by negative 4, and I think this is where a lot of you went wrong, is a positive 3 fourths, because a negative divided by a negative is a positive. And then we have plus a negative 6, so since this one's positive and this one's negative, we'd subtract. And we know that we're going to end up with a negative answer because 6 is bigger than 3 fourths. But 6 minus 3 fourths, if we do this, we see that we have to borrow and make this 4. Whoops, there's hardly room to write it over here. 4 over 4, that's a 4 on top. And what we have left is 5 and 1 fourth. And remember that it was negative because the 6 is bigger, so the answer should have been negative 5 and 1 fourth. That one was kind of tricky, but again, we divided a negative by a negative, which makes it positive. Okay, looking at number 39, the second 39, we are supposed to see if this given number, the 4 right here, is a solution to the equation. If it's a solution, then it'll be a true value for x. So we're going to plug the 4 in for the x, and so we'd have 2 times 4 plus 3 equals negative 11. Well, 2 times 4 is 8, and 8 plus 3 is 11. So we end up with a statement 11 equals negative 11. Since that is not true, our answer to this one is no. I think most of you got that one right. If we look at number 40, several of you missed this one. We're going to plug in negative 3 where the x is, and we have it in here twice. So we're going to say 2 times negative 3 minus 4 equals 3 times negative 3 minus 1. So 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, and negative 6 minus 4 equals, I'm going to squeeze it down here, negative 10, okay? Remember that we have the signs, um, we're subtracting a 4, so if we change it to plus a negative, then you have the signs are the same, and so you add and keep the same sign. On this side over here, we have 3 times negative 3, that's negative 9 minus 1, and again, we can change this to plus a negative, and so negative 9 plus negative 1 is negative 10. And now you can see that these are equal. So 40 should have been yes. And I hope you guys see what you did wrong on that one. Looking at 41, we're using the distributive property to factor each expression. Remember, this is like distributive property backwards. So we look at our two terms and we say, what do those have in common? Well, they have a 2 as a factor in common. So I'm going to pull a 2 out. And what I have left in my parentheses is an m from the first term. And if I take a 2 out of 8, remember we were thinking divide, then I'm left with negative 4. Okay? Looking at 42, what do these have in common? We have negative 3b and 5bc. A lot of you tried to pull out a 3, but if you notice, they do not have a 3 in common. This one has a 3 and this has a 5, and 3 is not a factor of 5. But they do both have a b in common, so we can take a b out. When we take the b out of negative 3b, we're left with just the negative 3. But we also have to take the b out of the 5bc, which would leave us with just 5c. I think one person got the b was in common, but they left it in the second term. Make sure you pull it out of both things. Looking at 43, what they have in common here is a 5. So we're going to pull a 5 out right over here. OK, 
Okay, and when we take a 5 out of 5a, we're left with a. And when we take a 5 out of 5, remember when we do that, we're dividing, think divide, and 5 divided by 5 is 1. Okay, what I saw a couple of times was um, leaving this number over here as a 5. But remember, we t when we pull it outside, we take it out of both terms. Looking at number 44, um, here we are combining our like terms, and so 4x and negative 7x are alike. So all we have to do is we have to just add the coefficients, and we have 4 minus 7, and 4 minus 7 is negative 3. So we have negative 3x. Looking at 45, the one that is like the 12a is the 2a, and remember the sign goes in front with it. So 12a plus 2a is 14a, and then negative 4b minus 2b, and again, remember the sign in front, so negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6b. Looking at number 46, what we have like with the 14x is the negative 17x. So again, it's like saying 14 minus 17, which would give us negative 3x. Okay, and then next we have a positive 6 minus 7, because 6a and negative 7a are alike. That would give you a negative 1a. Again, I think what some of you guys are doing is you're forgetting that the sign in front goes with the number. Whoops, it paused there for a second. So you have to make sure that you count those signs in front of it with the, with the number. Okay, so that would be the answer in 46. Here is the last one, number 47. The 3b is alike with the 7b, and so we end up with 3 plus 7, and 3 plus 7 would be 10, so we have 10b. And if we look at the other terms, we have a negative 6b squared and, what is that supposed to be? Oh, that's a minus right there, and minus b squared. So negative 6 minus b, which means minus 1 because there's understood to be a 1 in there. So we have ne negative 6 minus 1 is negative 7b squared. I think a lot of you ended up putting negative 6 on that one, but remember, if there's a, not a letter or not a number in front of a term, then that term is understood to have a 1 in front of it. And so it counts. So that is the answer. If you have any questions about any of the ones I just did or anything else, feel free to email me or text me or whatever you need to do to get in touch with me. And I will see you tomorrow.